What is up you guys? It is Brad here and today is the day. It is finally time for Brick Bear Virginia 2024. I have officially arrived at the Dulles Expo Center. I am super excited to be finally getting here. I am a little late. Not just this morning. I did sleep in a little because I was tired after my long drive from New York City yesterday, but I'm just like late to the convention. I missed the half day Wednesday and I missed the full day Thursday so I could go to New York. But anyway, time to go inside now and register. Virginia is hot. You guys can barely see that, but right there next to the convention center is a brick mania. That's so cool. I did not know there was one there. I will definitely have to go check that out later. Whoa, I really like this new brick fair logo. All right, I am in the convention center here now. I just have to go find the registration table so I can register and get my brick badge. Looks like it's going to be this way. Looks like there are tons of mocks in here. So here are the instructions here, how to build your name badge, which I'm going to do right now. All right, and here we go. My badge is made. All right, this is awesome. So it looks like there's going to be so many things to go take a look at. Uh, I'm just going to do a loop and walk around and, you know, see who's here, see what's going on. I just found out there was two rooms here at Brick World. That is so interesting. I did not know that one, but that's exciting. It's also cool because it looks like they have a lot of different play features here as well, or just like activities and things to do, which is really cool. I haven't seen that in a convention in a while. So it appears that most of the mocks are between this hall and this hall back here, and then all of the vendors are right here as well. All right, now let's take a look at some of the vendors here at Brick Fair Virginia. I think I've been here for like four minutes and I've already made my first purchase. It's this little Easter Bunny set, pretty cool. It's set number 10071. Not sure when it came out, but it was only three bucks, so I thought it was neat. Another vendor here has these bins of Lego parts. They're 50 cents, 25 cents each, and 10 cents each. And this one actually has a lot of minifigure stands, which I'm always looking for more of. So I'm trying to find as many as they have. Yo, $5 for this whole bag of base plates and parts? That's pretty epic. Oh, and check it out. This is the Brick Fair Bling Booth. It's not open right now, but you guys can just see some of the cool things they have. They've got everything from Brick World merch to just like random Lego merch and t-shirts and lots of cool things over here. I'll probably have to stop back by and see what they have if there's anything new on these tables that are not out right now. Oh, check it out. Look at the Lego display cases that they have. They've got the Star Wars ones here. Really cool. Super Mario, which is epic. They've even got some city ones, which are really cool. And a video one. Somebody will probably want that. And then there's even some Technics and some Friends ones. I've never seen so many in one place before. And they actually seem like pretty reasonably priced. Ooh, one vendor here does have the Tower of Bridge. This is a set I've been wanting. Hmm. And another vendor here actually has all this vintage Lego. This is really old Lego, like model cars from way back in the day. Lego used to make pieces like this, but they don't really anymore. So they have some more complete ones. And then they also have a bunch that are kind of, you know, half complete or a little damaged. They've also got these pins from the 60s. And they've also got a bunch of street signs and tree pieces and stuff as well. The same vendor that I actually just bought all the minifig plates from is actually doing a build a minifigure here. You get five Lego minifigure pieces for only $2. And they have a ton of really great great parts to choose from. So of course you guys know I did start filling up a cup and I got a bunch of different really neat ones. With so much variety it was really hard to choose but this is the cup of Lego minifigure parts that I ended up picking up. So I definitely didn't need a brick fair pillow but I definitely bought one. So of course I'm now over here at the Brick Warriors and the Eclipse Graphic booths checking out some of their custom printed Lego products here. A bunch of the ones are ones that we've seen at past conventions like all the candy bars over here and a couple different ones but I saw on their Instagram they have a couple new things that came out which look really fun. So all these safety signs look really cool. I don't remember if I've really ever seen any of these before. Um, they've got a bunch of US voting things here as well with the upcoming election. So they've got like the voter ballot here and then they've got an I voted pin which is pretty fun. Looks like they've got some bombs here as well. Over here they've got a bunch of albums tiles which are really cool and then they've actually got a bunch of movie posters as well. I like that some of their famous movie posters are now on the 1x2 tiles because I wanted these before but I just didn't need such a large model of it but now that's pretty affordable. They've also got a bunch of minifigure heads and stuff like that as well. And then over here they've got more of their custom printed tiles. A lot of these are album covers. These ones here are the new Taylor Swift ones which I saw online which are really cool so they've got a bunch of her different albums here. And then they also got a bunch from a bunch of other different artists as well. They've got some lists here, some pizza boxes, pizza slices which are really cool. We've got some newspaper ones here. If they had the one with the famous Trump picture on it, I would buy that in a heartbeat. They've also got all their drinkware here as well, which I did buy a bunch of those at Brickworld, and it looks like they've got even different ones here. This one here looks like a pina colada, which is really cool. And I don't even know what some of these other drinks are, but they're awesome. And then these ones here are like martinis and stuff like that, which is super fun. I had one of these yesterday in New York. Man, I think these drinks are so cool. I I'm gonna have to get a few of them for sure. And of course, we can't forget about all their custom Lego minifigures and other custom printed products. And then over here, they've got their extensive collection of Brick Warriors products. And of course, some more glassware and the stained glass windows as well. No surprise there but I ended up picking up these drinks which I'm really excited about. They were the exact same price as buying a real cocktail. 
but these ones I guess will last longer. Victor also threw in one of the bricks, which is really cool. Here at the Abbey Davos booth, they have a bunch of Lego sets. A lot of them, some of them are new, some of them are used. So you can just kind of scroll over here. I obviously don't do a lot of Lego set buying at these conventions just because they're often, you can get them on BrickLink and you're just ended up buying things that you don't necessarily need with the convention tax, but it's still really cool to browse around and see everything that they have. This Lego scarf here looks really cool. And they've even got one of the old Lego employee gifts. I don't even remember when this was the gift of purchase, but it's still really sick. Whoa, down here they've got some old agent sets, which is really cool. Ah, uh, this one's the Robo Attack Agents 2.0. I don't even remember this line. I remember Agents 1 though, and this one is also really cool. Chase McCain was like my favorite Lego minifigure, and this was actually one of the themes that got me into Lego way back in the day. Abby Dabbles is also very well known for all of their different Lego accessories and little builds as well. It's funny, we've got custom built Lego Mario and Luigi's, but still no Lego minifigures. They've also got a bunch of custom Lego Lego minifigures here with a lot of different pulp culture and iconic people that you'd probably all know. Like, look at there's Jeopardy, and they've even got some Boy Scouts. They've also got a very large selection of Lego minifigures here, and they've even got this whole table full of Lego parts, all individually priced. I think this right here is actually one of the most unique vendors I've ever seen at a Lego convention. They are here on site doing custom engraving on Lego bricks. This vendor here has all these Lego Studio sets that are really cool. So this one is set number 1354. I actually have this one. I was gifted the seals in box many years ago for the Lego YouTuber Secret Santa. They've also got 1355 here, which is one I don't have. It's only $25. It's a pretty cool one, but I'm not entirely sure if I'll pick it up yet. Atlanta Brick Co. is here, and they've actually got a ton of really cool Lego t-shirts, which are pretty hype. And they're also selling all of these poly bags for only $5 each. So they're all pretty new, so nothing too crazy rare or anything like that, but still pretty sick. And I honestly don't really need a lot of this stuff, but it's really cool to see. I love coming to LEGO conventions and seeing pre-built sets, or like used sets. These are my favorite things to buy here. I'm not trying to buy the box sets and stuff like that. I can buy them on BrickLink. They're pretty expensive at these cons, but like when you come and get to see stuff like this, now this is really cool. My hands and my fingers in particular are so sore because all I did yesterday was carry around my Lego set bag all through New York. Uh, I should have dropped it off at the hotel, but I didn't, and I am paying the price today. All right, you guys, so the first couple hours here at Brick Fair have been going really well. It's been a lot of fun so far. I've checked out some of the vendors, taken a very quick look at some of the mocks, but mostly you've just spent a lot of time catching up with people. It is a much like smaller and slower paced convention than Chicago so it's been kind of nice to actually just like stand and talk with people for a little bit of a longer time and just kind of get to enjoy everybody's company so it has been a lot of fun and yeah it's, it's only getting started. All right I am very hungry right now so I'm going to stop and take a little break and go grab some food and then I'm going to come back here to the convention and maybe look at some of the mocks a bit more and of course check out more of the vendors and what's going on here. Honestly, it really hit me today how crazy it is that I'm here for the first time since 2013, my first ever LEGO convention. I don't think that really clicked a little bit earlier when I was like booking the tickets for this weekend. But yeah, my first time ever at a LEGO convention 11 years ago was in this very building right here. What a wild, wild time that was. Such a different era. Gonna grab some classic American Chick-fil-A for lunch. I absolutely devoured that meal, so I did not film it, but it was pretty good. And honestly, I don't know what Chick-fil-A does with their staff, but they are so much friendlier than any other fast food restaurant I've ever been to. Everyone's so nice in there. Before I head back into the convention center, I figured I'd just come in here to the Brick Mania and check it out. I will be filming a whole store tour, so you guys can stay tuned for that on my YouTube channel. Nothing too crazy, but I did end up getting a couple Brick Arms weapons, which are pretty cool, and one of them was actually a freebie. The convention center is now definitely more buzzing with activity than it was when I first got here this morning, which is exciting. All the stanchions are going up, all the mocks are pretty much set up. There's so much to look at. The builds are just incredible. You know, it's been so long since I've been to a brick world, I almost kind of forgot what to expect. So I'm super excited to check out a bunch of these things later on this afternoon. So now Brick Fair has a little bit of a charity auction going on. This is raising money for the Slade Child Foundation, which is really cool. So they've got a bunch of sets and minifigures and things like that. And I figured I'd come by and check it out. So this is cool. They've actually got a bunch of brick loot builds, which are pretty fun. So they've got some VLs here and some minifigures. These are epic. These are actually old Brick Fair stamps. We've got the Snow and Sand key building kit from Target. Lots of Lego sets, you know, some iron-on patches, some Legoland gift baskets. Looks like a store display, custom 3D printed Bionicle masks, some pretty old Lego sets here with them, the designer ones, which are really, really cool. Looks like many, many years ago, this was on sale at Target for uh, $19.99. It's going a little bit more than that now. This one though still has some wiggle room, only $33. Ooh, this one here is one I miss out on. This is the Lego Movie Movie Maker set. We've got some old vintage sets here. These are really cool, still sealed in box. 
They've got the limited edition Lego House Home of the Brick minifigure tribute of the pirate. Ooh, check out these boxes of the old Lego 9 volt tracks. The same person here has actually put bids on both of them. So I've been walking around for the last little bit, just catching up with people, which has been really fun. I just caught up with Bricks on the Dollar, who I haven't seen in person since like 2019. Probably haven't really spoken to him since 2019 at the last Philly Brickfest I went to. Not 2019. 2017. I got my ears wrong. Sorry. He probably thinks I'm nuts. I told him that I haven't been to one in six years and then said 2019. I don't even know if Philly Brickfest was still around in 2019. But regardless, haven't seen him in like many, many years. So it was really cool to catch up. Saw Danny from Lego Buff Productions, which is really cool, and Lego Spencer. And they just released a really cool product that I'm actually really excited about. They gave me a little sample pack, which is going to be awesome. Can't wait to actually try it out in my Lego collection. I think so many Lego collectors are going to love it. In fact, I witnessed somebody purchase 25 packs of them because the product is so cool. And I already showed you guys on video. So it's pretty awesome. And it's just been a lot of fun going around to some of the different vendors and seeing what they have and I love the difference in Lego conventions you know Brick World is one convention Brick Fair is another and you as someone who hasn't been to Brick Fair since 2013 and has been to Brick World the last two years like it's not even fair to compare the two of them together because they are so different but anyway now I'm just taking a quick little walk because I want to go do some errands over here at Walmart and I didn't remember again it's been since 2013 but I didn't even remember that there was a Walmart in the same parking lot. I'm here in Walmart now and I'm gonna go to the toy section and check out the Lego aisle although I know that there's not gonna be really anything good here with a Lego convention just across the street. All right, so the Lego aisle looks pretty standard. We've got the small Simba here, which is really cool, and some Speed Champion, some Duplo, some of the classic base plates, and the Lego Creator ones here as well. So far, I haven't really seen any of the new sets. They just came out on August 1st, but wasn't really expecting to. Just wanted, again, just to check out and kind of see what they had while I'm here. Don't see any poly bags or anything like that, and certainly no clearance tags, but that's what I was kind of referring to earlier, because if there was clearance, they would be gone. And apparently somebody took the box for this Roses. That's interesting. It's just the roses without a box on the shelf. Oh, oh, no. Well, there's another open box right here. It looks like nothing's inside. I guess there is some theft at this Walmart. Ooh, this Ford one is actually on sale, which is cool. Yeah, I think one of my favorite parts about Brick Fair has to definitely be all the just things to do around the convention center. Like, obviously, you can look at everything, but I feel like it's also fun sometimes to be able to have, the you know, big piles of play bricks or even build a mosaic and really cool stuff like that. I think it just adds to the overall experience. It's only Friday night, and look at all the different mosaics people have already made for the art gallery. There's also some crazy building going on over here in the brick pits. All right, you guys, I just left the expo hall. I'm going to grab some food. It's been, I'm pretty hungry. It's been a few hours. I've just, again, continued talking to a lot of people. It's been awesome. I checked out a bunch of mocks. I filmed a bunch of short form, which is really exciting, so I'll make sure I upload that soon. And yeah, lots more at the vendors and stuff. So I'm probably going to stay away from the vendors a little bit more tomorrow because I've been spending a lot of money and probably show you guys more of the mocks then and of course make lots of short forms for them as well. I was craving barbecue, so I've stopped here to check out this place and I'm really excited because it smells really good. Holy crap, this looks incredible. And there's so many sauce options to choose from as well. All right, I am back from dinner now. It was absolutely delicious. Honestly, in a little bit of a food coma but I'm excited to be back here in the convention center because World of Lights is actually starting soon. World of Lights is basically when all the lights in the convention center go off and we're gonna get to enjoy like these Lego builds all lit up in the dark. They look cool now all lit up but wait until you see it when the whole hall is pitch black. I just realized my phone is at 1% and World of Lights is starting in 15 minutes so I am racing to my car right now to see if I can get the charger before my phone dies. So update my phone actually did die and it turns out I did not bring a charger. It must be back at the hotel so I will be filming the rest of this video on my other phone and this is a prime example of why I carry three phones with me at all times. There is so much excitement here as everybody's preparing for World of Lights. I cannot wait to check it out and of course here's Beyond the Brick doing their thing. I also just had such a great conversation with Tim. You guys know Tim from Lego Masters. Such a nice guy. Really good to catch up with him. Like my favorite part about Brickfair is that you can just take the extra time to talk to the people you want to talk to. You're not as rushed. All right the lights are officially off here for World of Lights. I got fully distracted doing some talking but now let's go check out some of the builds. It's not completely pitched black but you guys can see there are a lot of mocks lit up so let's go check them out so for starters here we do have the great ball contraption which looks really cool so you've got the glow in the dark balls which just make it look so much better uh, as you can really see everything move around there which is awesome lots of different lights here are included check out this really cool battle as well this one's really cool because it's all lit up and the lights are actually flashing 
which looks really awesome. Almost looks a little bit like a volcano, but that's not what it is, I don't think. Although I can't read the description because it's so dark. This build is really cool because they've got a church here and some of the vehicles are lit up, but also so is the church. So you can really see the stained glass windows here. This building here looks really cool lit up as well. Hard Lug has a Lego city here and the whole city is lit up, which is really, really cool. I have to come back and check this out during the day because it looks really awesome. But I love how they have all the street signs all lit up. They've got a train with working lights. And it looks like a lot of the buildings are lit up here as well, which looks pretty fun. I also really like the grain elevator they have here with the hard lug logo in it. And yeah, it looks really cool looking at a Lego city with all these lights. Makes me want to do it for mine. I absolutely love this double palace cinema. That looks really cool. And it looks like the whole thing is on fire. They've got fire trucks trying to put everything out there. And you can really see how lit up it is. I also love how the helicopter's even illuminated. This right here is sick as well this is a real lego concert which is awesome it's got mini figures jumping up and down right here we've got the band on stage with a whole light show a screen there's even smoke and under the table they've actually got a speaker which you can't really see it but it's playing the music that you hear in the background i love how cool this botanical garden looks lit up here it looks like there's a rave on the inside this right here is so epic it is the harry potter village all lit up which is awesome at the end of the street here we do have the bank which is really cool the way we were talking about earlier but then if you go under the table, they've actually included underneath it as well. This is the first time I've ever seen something done like this. Obviously, this is an expanded version of the set, and the set does include underneath it as well, but it's just so cool to actually see it under the table there, kind of hidden beside the tablecloth. And of course, there is a full light show, which looks really epic with the upper build. I made a short form of these earlier, but this is so cool. I love the detail on these buildings. These are three landmarks in the Baltimore area which are really, really cool, and they look really awesome during the day, but then lit up here, they look even better. And look at how great this city looks from the back as well. Wow, it's impressive on all angles. This cyberpunk city as well looks pretty epic. Lots of different lights, so much detail going on here as well. Like, it's hard to find everywhere to look, but it looks really, really beautiful all lit up here. Of course, Hogwarts Castle is all lit up here as well, which is really amazing. And they've also actually lit underneath here the water, which is really fun to see. You can really see all the different details pop, which looks really, really awesome. And I'd love to know what's going on in there. Kind of looks like a little bit of a party. I love how they've actually opened up the side so you can really see some of the details on the inside there. And this is really cool. Look at all these birds flying around. I certainly would not want to be trapped here. Now, for starters, this National History Museum is absolutely epic. I love that they've combined so many of the set here. And then, of course, here it also looks really sick all it up we've got the SWAT vehicle here which is really fun obviously something's happening at the museum because we've got the SWAT team descending on the park oh look looks like it's a space invasion which is really fun but yeah the museum looks absolutely sick not just double built but all lit up here as well this layout looks really sick as well for starters i love the retro motors dealership that looks really cool i love the angle on the building then of course all lit up on the inside we do have trains running around the whole layout as well that also contain some lights in them not just at the front and back but also in the cars as well and then you guys can see every single building here is also completely lit up including the lego modulars here Oh, this build is really cool. I love how the orange looks here. This Lego Blacktron base here is absolutely amazing as well. So of course we have the Blacktron ship up here, which looks really awesome. It actually has some moving parts here as well. But underneath the whole landing strip is lit up. And then down here, you guys can see all the different flashing lights. It's super cool looking. There's so much detail. And take a look at the water here as well, which is really awesome. I love how much movement the actual ship has here. It looks really cool. Like the engines at the back go. This part spins around. And the whole thing is illuminated by the lights here on the base. This is the alien UFO eye. And I think it's pretty cool looking. I also love this fire monster alien, which looks really fun. And what a creative use of pick a brick cups. There are so many alien related builds and UFOs here at Brick Fair, but I'm not complaining because each one is different and so unique. So I'm kind of stupid. Somebody has heard me film that clip and they're like, you do know the theme for this year's Brick Fair is UFOs which I did not know that, so now I feel a little stupid, but that explains why there's so many UFOs. I love them, they're all really good. And the moon base looks really epic here as well. They managed to add some of the black lights in here, so you can see that with the neon Lego colors, it really just pops up. Unfortunately, there is an emergency light on right above the build, or otherwise I know it would look even cooler, but the builder still did such an incredible job. <laughs> I love this guy's face, that's so funny. Whoa, and now check out this stadium here. This is absolutely epic. You guys can see, it looks like there's two massive compton's going on right here in the middle, 
On this side, it's Kiss. And on the other side, I'm not sure what band it is because there's no sign, but it looks epic. You can see all the minifigures sitting around here, which is really cool. And then there's even some boxes in the restaurants where all the VIPs get to sit. All the boxes are lit up here, so you really get to see it. This is the lobby of the arena here. You can see everything going on. We've got the arena sign that is also lit up. And at the top here, there is even a TV with the Kiss band performing. And the Fabuland Pirate Ship here is really awesome as well. I love this one during the day. I'd love to find out if it floats or not, but now I don't think you'd want to because it's all lit up. But you guys can see all the sails here are nice and bright. The actual deck of the boat is awesome. You can see all the Fabuland characters really enjoying themselves. And then underneath here in the hull of the ship where all the cannons are, you know, shooting at the Lego system part, the cannons are actually firing because they're on a light sequence. So you can really see them shooting. It's really really cool i love it whoa and check it out this is a real working lego crane that actually can spin around and pick up the pieces as well check out how cool these lego stained glass mosaics are as well these are super neat they use a lot of the dots pieces and they have lights behind them so they just look absolutely stunning I could see these belonging in a church or something like that because they're so pretty. This LEGO City here looks pretty epic as well with all the modulars lit up. This American Airlines plane also looks really, really cool. They've got the lights on the side and actually on the interior as well. So you can really see all the details and the minifigs on the inside. And check out this football field here. This is absolutely epic. They've got two very large lights here on, well, like a couple large lights, but two on each side and they've lit up the entire thing. You can really see all the different minifigures in the stands, which are really cool. And then, of course, you can see all the halftime performers in the show going on, which looks awesome. This battle over here is pretty epic as well. I love how it looks like there's a gunfight going on on the inside, flashing lights, almost like a fire alarm. Everything's going up over here on the overpass. Looks looks super epic. And then here we've got the Kingdom of the Planet Apes, which is really cool. So this build actually spins around, which looks really epic. You guys can see everything is all lit up here, and it's really, really fun to just kind of check it out and see all the different apes that, you know, were included here in this build. I love how the Gotham City looks here all lit up with all the different colors and the neon. It looks awesome. The Milky Way here looks absolutely epic as well. This city from Penlug looks really cool as well because they've actually included a lot of lights, especially in the bottom floors of all their builds. You guys can see that the Apple store here, it looks really cool all lit up, as well as this bakery is pretty sick too. And the Lego store is awesome. And then it's really cool because they've got the skyscraper here with a UFO actually coming out the top of it and all the lights going down through the center. The train here is also completely lit up as well. These Lego monks are super well done as well. They've got lights in literally every area. They look especially cool down here in the under parts of the build, but they're even included in the mountain here, which is really awesome. And you guys can see this one's just as cool. They've got lava down here, which is awesome. Lots of lights and lots of details here. And this is so cool because it looks like it's floating when you look at it from this angle. All right, so I think I've pretty much seen everything here at World of Lights. I've taken a lot of footage because there is a lot to see. I probably won't be able to include all of it here in the vlog just because there is so much footage. So I'll probably make a separate video on the main channel at a little bit later time with all the footage, more of an extended cut. But I hope you enjoyed what I got to show you at least so far in this video. Yikes, it is 1030 on the dot and the lights immediately came on. World of Lights is officially over, but it was really, really cool this year. I say this year as if I've been here before, but I haven't. This is my first Brick Fair World of Lights, but the Brick World one was pretty good. All right, so now that World of Lights is over, I filmed a little bit more and again, like just hung out and chatted with a few more people. It's like 11 o'clock now, so I think I'm actually going to call it a night and head home. I want to get a, like a good night's sleep because I want to be here first thing in the morning to watch public open up. I remember when I first came 11 years ago, that was one of the coolest things was just seeing the line around the building. So I want to come in bright and early for that. And it's gonna be a really big day tomorrow it's gonna to be here pretty late so i want to make sure i get a good night's sleep thank you for tuning in to the very first day of the brickwell virginia 2024 vlog even though the convention's already in full swing and this is only my first day here i had a ton of fun and i hope you guys got to experience it with me thank you guys again so much for watching and i will see you here for tomorrow jokes on me filmed that last clip an hour and a half ago and i'm leaving the dulles expo center right now an hour and a half i'm not complaining because i just had the best conversations and a really good time, but that is exactly how these LEGO conventions work. You think you're leaving, and then you see someone you haven't spoken to before, next thing you know, you're sitting in a group and chatting. And it was a blast, so absolutely no complaints. But I am exhausted, so I said, guys, I'm going back to the hotel. So I, I'm actually leaving now, unless I get stopped in the parking lot, but it's, it's actually the best feeling when you have a great conversation like that.